Andrew Hansen gave up two runs in the first. Only one of them earned. He faced eight batters. Let's see if it's a different story here. As Cody Borgine, the center fielder, pulls back a bunt and takes strike one. Borgine, Schoenfeld, and Miller, the first three due up for Rochester here in the second. So there's a swing and a miss. Quickly, nothing in two here in the second game of this set. Bismarck took the opener yesterday, mounted a four-run comeback in the eighth. Origin just able to get a piece of that. Cody Borajin, the sophomore from San Joaquin Delta, a native of Medford, Oregon. Pokes one out to the left side. Rosengard on the runoff platform in time. One up and one down here for Rochester in the second. So the lineup turns over for the first time, taking another look at Andrew Hansen. Making his second start against Rochester this summer. His second outing as a Lark came against these Honkers in Minnesota, where he was knocked out in the second inning, throwing over 35 pitches in the second. Gave up five earned runs on his way to a loss. As here's Paul Schoenfeld, the left fielder, one for one. An unearned run scored back in the first. Schoenfeld, the sophomore from Colorado Mesa, a guy that gets on base a ton. Getting on base at a 4-11 clip. He pulls back punt, watches ball two outside. Yeah, Schoenfeld had more walks than strikeouts this spring with Colorado Mesa. Only struck out seven times. It's now three and one. Schoenfeld had two two-baggers last night. On his way to a two-for-five performance, also scored a run, had a stolen base. It's one hard off of his own body. As he has to limp that one off, that can't feel great. Curious to see where this one might have clipped him. Somewhere towards the knee, maybe. Oh, the shin, yeah. That left shin. And obviously, that's not going to feel good whatsoever because that straight bone down there. And obviously, no protection on the inside foot near the catcher. If a guy is going to wear a shin guard, it's going to be for a lefty on the right ankle. There's a cold strike three on the outside corner. Schoenfeld was already heading down the line to first. He thought it was ball four, but he gets rung up by the home plate umpire, Brandon Hastings. Two up and two down for Andrew Hansen here in the second. That was spotted beautifully right on the outside corner. The third punch out of the night for Hansen. Andy Miller, who struck out his last time, last inning, watches ball one. Andy Miller with a couple of RBIs yesterday in a one for four performance in his seventh game this summer with Rochester. Takes a big hack at one, chops one, high in the air down the third base line. Hammond makes a true throw over, and it's a three up, three down inning for Andrew Hansen. A nice bounce back after giving up two in the first. We go to the bottom half, Rosengard, Oakley, and Hill, the top of the order due up for Bismarck on the Northwoods League Baseball Network. Back here from Ypsilanti after Ball State goes on a 5-0 run here to start quarter number three. Keisha Blanton uses her first timeout. That sent us to a media break. We're back here with 8.43 left in quarter number three. Ball State up 41-29 over Eastern Michigan. Thank you so much for joining me on this Saturday afternoon. My name's Dominic Leacani. It'll be Eastern Michigan basketball as the Eagles will work from left to right. 
Lachelle Austin lost the handle a bit right at the logo, gets it back with nobody on her. She's in between the rings now for Eastern. Gives it up to Treasure Thompson on the left wing. Thompson picks up her dribble, back out to Austin. In the corner, here's Akia Nelson, and she travels. Took too many steps, trying to get down the baseline. Ball State basketball on now the ninth turnover of the afternoon for Eastern. Ali Becky works it across the timeline. Cardinals moving from right to left. Becky angling towards the right wing, hands it off for Kiefer. Kiefer hangs it off to Richard, back to Kiefer, and here is Bischoff on the deep left wing. Bischoff, a one-handed pass over to Hampton, straight away with 13 to shoot. Hampton towards the lane. Hampton back out for Richard. Richard finds some space. Richard back out for Becky with seven to shoot. Hampton, top of the key. And we've got a three in the key violation as Marie Kiefer could not get out of the lane in time with just under eight minutes to play here in an 11 point ball game, or rather 12 point ball game, Cardinals turn the ball over. However, Ball State's still in the full court press. Here's Lachelle Austin working it behind the back around Becky, in between the rings now. Back out towards the E logo, swings it off to Olivia Smith on the left wing. Smith bounces it to Eke. Eke over for Nelson in the far corner, down low for Thompson. Thompson back out for Austin, right wing with nine to shoot. Austin backs out towards the corner. Smith, right wing three, bingo. Olivia Smith started this game 0 for three from distance. She finally hits here to start the second half as Keisha Blanton has to like what she sees at, out of the timeout. Under seven and a half to play, Cardinals up by nine. Bischoff at the left wing, starts and stops towards the lane, towards the cup, floats it up. It's good on the fadeaway, Maddie Bischoff, a tough shot. She's able to find Twine. Cardinals back out by 11. Thompson hands it off to Austin. Eastern Michigan still having a ton of problems breaking this full court press from the Cardinals. Brady Sally has no problem continuing to do it, and why not? Hand it off for Nelson. A cutting Eke has an easy left-handed runner that falls. 43 to 34 now, Cardinals only up by nine once again. Becky across the timeline from right to left. Becky front court right, works towards the top of the key. Hampton, left wing, thought about a three. Now right at the free throw line, takes the jumper. No good off the back of the iron. Rebound ricochets into the hands of Olivia Smith. And the other way they come are the Eagles. Down low a feed for Eke, left block. Back out for Thompson, right elbow. Euro step into the lane and she is denied by Marie Kiefer. Ball's going the other way off of Thompson. Let's see if they give Marie Kiefer the block. No signal yet, but if that's the case, then Marie Kiefer would only need 36 more to become the all-time block leader at Ball State. 6.09 left here in the third. Cardinals up by nine. Hampton on the left wing. Back out for Bischoff, and here's Hampton. Inside the arc, a floater for Richard. Handed off to Bischoff, seven to shoot for Ball State. Bischoff nearly falls, and she does. Gets back up as she turns it over to Zakia Nelson. Under six to play here, still in a nine point ball game in favor of the Cards. Bounce pass down low, Eke. A reverse lay from the junior from Madrid, Spain is no good. Rebound Alex Richard, Cardinals back the other way. With five and a half left here in the third. Cardinals by nine, Becky around a couple of screens. Becky inside, Kiefer into the paint. Fade away, she's rejected, gets her own rebound. Puts it back up again, she's stuffed once again. Twice by Eke. It's Tria McLean, the fifth year out of Battle Creek, Nebraska, to get us going in set four. And it's already an overpass, but an attacking error from Elizabeth Herline. And the Cardinals will take the first point of the set. So uncharacteristic of Herline that time. I mean, it was too strong on the receive that time from, from Barnes. An easy strike, what it should have been for Herline. Instead, a point to the Cardinals and another attacking error. Kate Vincent serves. Here's Harchinska, Simon Diggs, Plitt on the slide, and the Cardinals will get another opportunity out of system. For Barnes, and she finds the campfire. Nobody home in the middle of the court. Just 25 kills coming into this evening for the true freshman, Kendall Barnes. That time, found the gap in the defense perfectly. The campfire, as you mentioned, Dom, and Ball State so far so good here in set four. It's a new career high for Kendall Barnes. That kills down from Harchinska. Ohio service for a kill down. 
Great response by the Bobcats. Finally get on the board. Harchinska has been so good through three sets. Barnes again, but she is denied. And there's Harchinska down right there on the other end to reject the swing. And just like that, we're tied up. Just a brick wall on that left side. Here's a back set to Plick. Too hot to handle for Tria McLean. That time went cross court, Ohio over committing a little bit down the line. And Marie Plitt recognizes that, takes it the other way, finds the gap. Too much for McLean in the middle. Marie Plitt with nine kills. Needs just three more to take possession of eighth place all time in Ball State career kills. That point will go to the Bobcats. That swing off the hand of the freshman Cam Hunt. That's now 12 ki kills on the evening for the freshman. And you see Plitt not there in time to help out Walonsky. Cam Hunt, 6-1 frame, take that all day. Tipped over from Plitt. Hunt again, she finds the back row, just able to sneak it in. And watch out, Cam Hunt's got hot in the second set, and you saw what happened then. Something similar happens now, the Bobcats might be in the driver's seat here in set four. An overpass from Vincent, but a stuff up front from Olaski. That's not how the Cardinals drew it up, but they'll certainly take it. And a little finger point by Wolanski after that ball hit the floor to the other side. You can see the confidence from the junior. Archinska, she's starting to heat up now here in set three. Already her third kill in, or rather set four. Already her third kill in this set alone. She has a team leading 13 now. Almost an ace from Macy Watros. That attack too long, but they will say deflection off Cardinal fingertips. I think that's the right call, Don. Definitely couldn't see a super clear look that time, but the ball looked like change direction in real time. Anaya Kennedy set up, but her attack too strong. I thought there might have been a deflection at the net, but close, but no cigar. Anya Harshinska from Ukraine serving. Wise, a big ball off Harshinska. She keeps it alive. The dig from Gates. Roll shot from Kennedy kept alive. The defense healthy in this rally. Kennedy sneaks it in. Exactly what the Cardinals needed. You know Ball State did not want this set to get out of hand fast. I mean, look at where that ball is placed. That's right in the corner from Kennedy. It's the accuracy, I'm telling you. She is so accurate with the ball off of her power swings. That's why she's leading the team in kills right now. Line drive serve from Olatsky. That one hits the hardwood before Gates can keep it up. And there's our impact player, Caitlin O'Farrell. Just six kills on the evening for O'Farrell. A couple of blocks to her name as well. Just swinging for a 125 percentage. Graduate senior has struggled tonight for Ohio, but some key names have stepped up in her stead. Tori killed out, has to send it over. Nice diving stop from Gates, and Bloom will free ball it onto Ohio's side of the court. Cardinals in system. Kennedy the tip, steal the save, Buckley the finish. 